So let us begin. Leadership. You're all leaders of your company. The best example of leadership that I've come up with lately is that of an orchestra conductor. If you ever notice, they don't make a sound during a performance, but they produce amazing results. They guide a diverse group of people simply by the movements of our hands. I wish I was that good in running my business, but that's kind of where we need to get to. So how do we do that? How do you build your own orchestra? Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the next point because you were in a, a session this morning on recruiting, but I do want to say, don't hire out of desperation. Entrepreneurs are cursed. We have the last minute curse. We tend to hire people six months too late. We ought to, and we justify that because, oh, we can't afford them. I don't know if we can afford this person for the long haul. So what we do is we just download the extra work on the existing staff and ourselves. And the risk is great because we run that risk of burning everybody out. But when we finally do get around to hiring that person, we're just taking the first person that comes in the door, or even though we're going through the motions of reading resumes and whatever, we're just happy somebody actually applied and showed up. And the thing is, believe me, from experience, I know that never works. And if your business is that overwhelming, slow it down until somebody, you get the right person. But you need to understand what you're hiring for, and don't put yourself in that desperate position because I'll tell you, it never works out. And the cost, not only in time, and disruption to your company is, um, is unbelievable. It's not worth the effort. So take the time. And as, a, as I said, you, you went through a hiring uh, recruiting process this morning, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. The second thing, teach them. As leaders of your organization, you need to share absolutely everything you know about your business, your clients, and your industry. You need to share that with your employees. My last company, the Marketing Resource Group, was 80% part-time people. And it was amazing what we did. We managed to, to share everything with them. They, they delivered amazing results, but we did share, and they were quite knowledgeable about the, the industry. Too many entrepreneurs think it's a secret, and you know, they don't want to share. Now, you cannot share problems with any of your employees. Problems always run up the organization, okay? They never run down. You can, you can share challenges with them, but you can't share problems with them. But teach them everything you know. And the last one, and I can't, whoops, there we go. The last point, um, and this is probably my number one um, topic, piece of advice that I can give you, is delegate, delegate, delegate. Delegate absolutely everything you can in your organization. One of the things we did, we pushed everything down to the lowest common denominator in our organization. And that's the only way you're going to get freedom, is by delegating. And as we... As owners, we tend to say, oh, I can't delegate because they don't understand. The thing is, is we look at any project as a unit, as a whole unit, when in fact, every project is made up of individual tasks. So let's use the example that a project has 10 tasks. There are simple tasks and complex tasks, complex tasks that have to be completed. And if we start by giving away some of the simple ones, and once the staff is good at that, we can give away a couple of more. And before you know it, two becomes four, Four becomes eight, and you've given away 80% of that project. And it's just freed you up to spend more time not only helping your, your staff, but to do the things you like and at the high level. So delegate absolutely everything you can. Start small, but you'll be amazed at how people rise to the occasion. Because employees go to work to be successful. We screw that up as owners because we're, they're standing around all day. We can give them the opportunity to grow, and you do that by delegating. So... That's it for leadership. Please go to work to be successful. We screw that up as owners because we're, they're standing around all day. We can give them the opportunity to grow, and you do that by delegating. So that's it for leadership.